critical security flaws with New Mexico's health care exchange site. Julian Melcher with the National Review is here. Now, I'm just only just hearing about this story. Critical problems with the health insurance exchange in New Mexico. Exactly. Give me the story. So there's a federal audit that's been conducted. I found out about it. And basically it identifies high and critical security information technology risks within this health exchange. Now, they won't say exactly what they are because they don't want to open it up for hackers, but we know it's a serious problem and we know they're working very hard to fix it. So, I'm in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. I've given all my personal information because I want health care insurance and I go to the exchange, so mm -hmm. they've got my information. Your report, this, the mm -hmm. federal report, says that information is at critical risk. Is that it? Oh, well, it won't even go that far to say it, but I think that's kind of the implication. If there's a silver lining here, it's that New Mexico's only done a partial launch. They're a hybrid exchange. So while people have enrolled about 600 of them through their employer, they're not yet doing the individual marketplace. And I think these are really the, the risks and the vulnerabilities that they're going to have to plug up before they try to roll it out to the general market. But this is what we said beforehand. I mm -hmm. mean, before this whole thing got going, what's the security procedure available in mm -hmm. these exchanges? We were not told. And now we find it, there's a, did, what was the expression, a critical? A high and critical vulnerability. That's what, what I've mean? been able to what find is that, What specifically yeah. is at risk here? <laughs> well, I would really love to know that. I think we can safely assume that personal information is at risk. And how far, how site. deep? Well, you know, I wish I, I knew that. They are so concerned about what this report would say that they won't release it. They're saying Bank account it, numbers, personal home addresses, Yeah, when you sign addresses. up for health coverage, it's social security, financial information, home address, um, health conditions, finances, tax, just about everything an identity thief would need. And the other week, Politico did a story about how much money that fetches online. I mean, healthcare related identity theft, that's on the rise more than any other form. Um, so I think that you've definitely got both the incentive and the weakness. This and, could be a disaster. They said there's no hacking been done yet. They haven't been able to find out any yet. But, you know, Vermont's health exchange was just hacked know. a week ago, yeah. You wouldn't know, would you? Yeah, I mean, correct. You can't be sure. Correct. Until somebody steals your identity, sells it, and it's mm -hmm. used by somebody else. Exactly. Great story, Jillian. You're just breaking this thing right now. Aren't you? I am, yeah. All right, Jillian, coming on the show and doing it. We appreciate Thank that. You. Thank you. Uh, the BBC. <laughs>